Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining us on this Wednesday, and welcome to the Specialist Trading Educational Presentation. Uh, today, I want to talk to you about two methods to help you succeed in the market. These are extremely powerful methods, but also very, very simple. And I've been actually applying them for over four decades in my own personal trading. Let me share with you an example right here. As we look back at this older chart in Costco, most traders would analyze this as something different from what I learned and what I'm going to be teaching you today. Most traders would say, well, Steve, every time I buy, it goes straight down. Every time I sell, it goes right back straight up and so forth. So I would label this a whipsaw market where you get whipsawed and you have a lot of small little losses that really grind up your profits. Whereas another trader may say, well, this is major, major resistance. This is where all the institutions are selling. So I don't want to do anything until there's a major breakout or close above this level. This is the way most traders will analyze markets. And in my opinion, why I believe most traders fail. I remember I did the exact same thing when I first started trading 40 years ago. But my mentors taught me these two methods, what I'm going to share with you today as well. And the first method actually would have generated a buy signal where you thought there was resistance or where you thought there was a whipsaw market. A buy signal was generated right here. And then the second method would have confirmed that buy signal to give you a higher level of consistency in the trade. And as we can see, in a matter of just weeks, the stock went up 30 points. So this is what we're going to be talking about today. And everything you're going to be seeing is going to be displayed on our platform, the PTS Primo Charting Platform, the educational platform that actually teaches you how to trade these two methods. So welcome to this educational presentation. My name is Stephen Primo. I am the president and founder of Specialist Trading. I've been trading now for 44 years. I started my career on the floor of the Pacific Stock Exchange. I was on the floor for a total of 16 years. Nine of those years, I was a specialist. Now, I know a lot of you are familiar with what a specialist is or does. A specialist is someone who makes markets in roughly about 50 or 60 stocks. So I made markets uh, during the crash of 87 and the bull market that followed. Now, when I first started trading, I pretty much used the exact same things you're most likely using today, 40 years later. And trust me, they didn't work for me then. So I was lucky enough to have mentors that taught me these two methods are going to be that I'm going to share with you today. That really is the cornerstone for turning my trading around. So this promises to be a great educational presentation. Thank you for joining us once again. But before we begin, as always, we're required to share this with you. So please take a moment to view our disclaimer. I'm going to show you a lot of performance results using these two methods, but please remember that we can in no way guarantee that any of the results I'm about to share with you, they will be repeated in the future. So please remember that all examples are strictly for educational purposes only. Now, if you're looking for more of our education on a daily basis, you can get a lot of it by simply following us on Twitter. There's a handle right there. I would suggest copying that down. Every day I post uh, snapshots of stocks, futures, currency pairs, even Bitcoin, uh, show, showing you and sharing with you how some of our methods and strategies were applied to them and how they really have helped a lot of our traders. So lots of great free educational information on a daily basis. Please feel free to follow us on Twitter. Now, remember, we are first and foremost an educational company. A little bit different from other webinars you may have gone to. I'm not going to talk about what I think the market's going to do. Is it going to bottom out? Is it going to keep going lower? Uh, what's the best stock to buy or sell right now? Well, we don't believe in that. In fact, that's really what hinders you from becoming a successful trader, in our opinion. Those decisions have to be made by you. The good news is we provide all of our students with high quality and very uh, high probability trading methods and techniques and strategies that will enable you to make those decisions. You see, it's our belief that the only way you can become a consistent trader is by making your own trading decisions. So that's our goal at Specialist Trading, my goal as your mentor not to force feed you signals, not to tell you what market to buy or sell, but to simply teach you how to trade with the specialist edge. It's the same edge that was taught to me some 44 years ago when I was struggling, most likely doing the same things you're doing right now. And it have, has really changed my way of trading and turned my trading around and allowed me to be able to be trading four decades later. So hopefully we'll be able to do the same for you. Now, this is going to be a classroom setting. If you noticed, I sent uh, a... Uh, uh, a, a chat uh, announcement in your chat box, please uh, uh, asking you to disable all cameras. Don't disable your computer, but just disable all cameras on computers. So a little typo there. Uh, and also disable your microphone as well. This isn't going to be an interactive presentation 
Uh, it is a Zoom class, but not an interactive one. We will be taking questions at the end, but we're not gonna be looking at uh, cameras and asking questions live. So I want you to please hold off on any questions till the end of class, and then go to your chat box and, and uh, type them in there. And I promise I'll get to each and every one of them. The only question I will answer, is this being recorded? Yes, it is. So if you're having technical issues or if you can't see or hear everything clearly, or if you have to leave early, don't worry. Each and every one of you will be sent a link to this recording, all right? Okay, so remember, questions at the end, and please uh, kindly disable all cameras and microphones. With that stated, let's begin today's educational class. I like to start every week with a theme of what today's class is gonna be. So I'll start off with something my mentor said to me, and they said, Steve, the market you're trading, doesn't matter what market, could be a five-minute chart of the E-mini futures, could be a weekly chart of Bitcoin, could be currency pairs or a daily chart of stocks it makes absolutely no difference. But the market you're trading, regardless of time frame or direction, tells you everything you need to know. Now, my mentors taught me this four decades ago. And at the time, I thought they were nuts. I said, that's crazy. You know, you have to look at interest rates. You have to look at the earnings. You have to look at what's going on with the uh, you know, financial policy, the current administration. You have to see what's happening in the sector. You know, there's so many other variables. You can't just, you know, rely on what the market is telling you. And after all, how do you even know what the market's telling you? I was always trained to listen to earnings reports. I was always trained to listen to that guy, uh, that so-called trading guru, tell me what he thought the stock was going to do. But I never learned how to listen to the market. So how do we listen to the market? Because obviously, we have to know what the market is telling us, right? So this is what we're going to be talking about today two methods to help you actually listen to the market because they're both based on market behavior. You notice I said market behavior. I didn't say they're both, both based on fundamentals. They're not based on support resistance. They're not based on candlestick patterns. They're not based on moving average crossovers or volume. None of those things which most people use. They're based off market behavior and simply listening to the chart in front of you. Remember, the chart you're looking at tells you just about everything you need to know. Okay, so let's go and dive into these two methods. The first one is strategy number four. This was the very first method my mentors taught me, and I've been using this in some capacity for the past four decades. Well, let me give you a little bit of insight into the highlights of strategy number four. It's a pattern recognition strategy. It's based off a pattern that we teach you what this pattern is based off. In other words, all the different variables of the pattern. But this pattern repeats itself over and over and over again in any market or time frame. Now, it's designed for traders looking to catch momentum. When I first started trading this, we were catching momentum on a one minute time frame, on a five minute time frame at the longest period. But we've devised ways to use this if you want to look at weekly charts, monthly bars or daily bars, makes absolutely no difference, okay? It only uses one indicator. That's how simple it is, because remember, it's based off a pattern. We teach you what is involved in this pattern, but there's only one indicator. And I'll actually give you a few of the rules to this. There's only five rules in the strategy. I'll share two of them with you today. All right, so let's look at some examples. Remember, these are older examples, just for clarity's sake, just to teach you the process. And then later on in the presentation, we'll share with you things that happened in the last couple of weeks, the last month, okay? All right, let's look at this older chart, VRSM. Once again, everyone has a different analysis the way you're taught. Most traders would say, well, Steve, this is a range. I mean, you can't make any money in these. I was always taught to avoid range markets. That's where you get whipsawed once again. But here's what you do. The first thing in the first rule of strategy four is to apply the 50 period moving average. That's what we call our buy sell line. And if price is above that, well, then it's basically telling us that we're only gonna be looking for buy signals, okay? So that means every uh, setup we're looking for is a buy setup. Why? Because the overall trend is up. If price is above the 50 period moving average, oh, someone is writing here, the buy sell line. Okay, remember, just please disable all of your, uh, your equipment and things. Uh, I, I see someone is using this once again and thinking it's an interactive presentation. This is not an interactive uh, presentation. So please wait till the end of the presentation to write on the screen or anything, okay? Thank you very much. It's okay, Don't, no need to apologize. Uh, this is what we go through with Zoom. So if price is above the buy sell line, remember that's telling you that the overall trend is up. That means that we will only have buy setups, okay? 
Simple as that. So that's rule number one. Rule number two is if we're going to have buy setups, these bars must close in the top 25% of the bar. So as we see here, this bar closed in the top 25%, this one closed in the top 25%, and this one closed. But look what happens. This was the only buy signal. Why? Because there are three more remaining rules of this pattern that we teach you in the course. So I apologize. I can't give you all of the, the rules. It wouldn't be fair to the students around the world in over 115 countries that have bought this strategy. So I can tell you, though, that this is a valid strategy number four buy signal. And these other ones did not meet the rules, OK? Did not meet the requirements. So we have a buy signal closing the top quarter of its range, and it's above the 50 period. Yeah, look what happened. Do you see how it identified momentum even before the momentum set in? Because why? It's based off market behavior, and market behavior was telling us that this wanted to go higher. Now, it doesn't predict how high, doesn't predict how low for selling, but we'll show you ways in which to apply different techniques to exit later on in today's presentation. Here's another example. As we look at PINS, once again, most traders would say, Steve, this is major support. Look at that. It's holding right here. The market has been doing terribly, but look how this is holding. This has got to be major, major support. Well, remember, we do not follow support and resistance because one trader's support is another trader's resistance. It's too subjective. We want to use and apply things that are cut and dry, things that just basically work all the time, things that aren't that discretionary. And the simplest thing is to apply the 50 period moving average, the buy sell line. Now we ask ourselves, where is price in relation to that? Rule number one, price is below. So that means, are we going to be a buyer? Absolutely not. We'll only look for selling opportunities. That's the first rule of strategy. Number one, you ask yourself, where is price in relation to the 50 period moving average? So we know we're only going to be a seller. We don't care about some $10,000 indicator that's supposed to tell you where the institutions are buying or that $10,000 class you took on support and resistance. Trust me, I you know, used that years ago. I couldn't make any money using support and resistance or institutions because it was just too discretionary. It was too subjective. But it's cut and dry when I see that price is below the 50, so I'm only going to be a seller. Now, we want to look for bars that close in the bottom quarter of their range. Now, this one does, but does it meet all of the requirements of strategy number four? This one did too. It closed in the bottom quarter, so did this one. Well, once we apply strategy number four, we see that this one met all the requirements. This one did not. So we have a sell signal. So everyone thinks there's major support. We would have sold, and look what happened price quickly dropped 10 points. And if you miss that one, don't worry. If you have enough of the requirements met, you'll see a number of signals generated along the way, OK? Now, as with everything, nothing works 100% of the time. That's not just in trading stocks. That's everything in life. Nothing works 100% of the time. You don't need me to tell you that. For example, let's say you became a student of the strategy number four course. And you're all excited. You studied all the material. You paper traded for a while. And you say, you know what? I'm ready to get in, in this older chart of SIX. So there's a sell signal. So you jump in, and then this happens. And you say, hmm, that didn't work out too well, but I'm still short. And guess what? There's another sell signal right here. So I'm going to double up. I'll probably make all my money back, and I'll make a killing. So you sell again, and this happens. So at this point, you say, well, gosh, I better get out. I'll take the big loss. After all, price is now above the 50 period moving average, so I shouldn't be selling anything or I shouldn't have a short position if price is above. So I'm out of the market altogether. I'll just rack that up to a loss. But wow, that sure stings for my first trade. That was a tough one. So you hold on and you wait, you study some more. And then a week later, you see two buy signals are generated. You say to yourself, well, here's the buy sell line, the 50 period price is above. Both of these bars close in the top quarter of their range. They're both valid signals. OK, I'm going to jump in. I'm going to buy. I'm going to double up again. And I'll make back all that money I lost on the two sell signals here. So you're all excited. You're ready to jump in. And then this happens. OK, at this time, you're probably ready to hit me in the face, say, hey, this doesn't work. You really sold me something that doesn't work. Remember, nothing works 100% of the time, OK? I took a loss this morning in my own personal trading, and then I made it back on my very next trade. 
So what we need is something to filter out. Is there a tool that could possibly filter out not all of the bad setups, because we know there's nothing that can do that, but at least a majority or a good portion of these failed signals. Well, this brings us to method number two. That's the PET D. We're going to apply this as a confirmation tool. In other words, it's going to confirm whether you should take that strategy number four signal or not. And it has really a powerful way of confirming and saying whether this is a good signal to take or not to take at all. Now, if you're not familiar with what the PET D is, it's a color bar tool. And we call it our translator because it literally translates what the market wants to do, any market, any time frame, on a tick by tick basis. And it does this by coloring the bars. Now, for example, let's look at this chart here in ATER. This is a current chart here that goes into this first and second week of September. But looking back all the way back to June, someone looking at this stock would say, hey, this is terrible. Look at this. I don't need the pet D or strategy number four to tell me I'm in a downtrend. I don't need the 50 period moving average. Look at this thing. It's going straight down. All right. So why would I need any of that stuff that Steve talks about? I can tell right off the bat not to touch this with a 10 foot pole because it's telling me it wants to go lower. So you're convinced this stock should be avoided or you should short it, whatever you want to do. And then this happens, right? Look for mayor. So how could the PET D have helped us? Remember the PET D is not a predictive tool. It doesn't predict how high or how low something will go. It does not tell us when to buy or when to sell. It simply translates what the market wants to do. And the way it does this is by coloring the bars red for a downtrend and green for an uptrend. So let's apply the PED D. You think it could have helped you right here with ATER this last week? Look at this, it was red in advance, way up here when the stock was trading roughly about 16, 17, all the way down here to the last week of August, just about two weeks ago. And then right at this point, price turned green, okay? Telling you that the trend is now up. And look what's happened after that, okay? It's gained over 200% since we had a confluence of green bars here. So as you see, the beauty of the PET D is that it tells you which direction you should be trading. And once you know that, you can confirm if your strategy is in sync with that direction. Now, this happens the opposite way as well. We can have something going straight up and then straight down. We apply the PET D, and look how well this worked. It told us well in advance it was going higher, and it told us well in advance that it wanted to go all the way back down, okay? Now, when we combine these two, strategy number four, along with the PET D confirmation tool, we have one of our most popular as well as most consistent and powerful methods at uh, specialist trading and pro trader strategies. We call it the dynamic duo. This is the dynamic duo of strategy number four and the PET D. So how do we actually apply them together? What's the process? Well, it's really simple. Here are the dynamic dual rules. If strategy number four generates a buy signal, you will see a little green arrow below the setup bar. That's the bar that all the rules have come into play. You're only gonna trade that strategy number four buy signal if it's colored green by the pet D. If that bar is colored green or outlined green. Now, conversely, if you get a sell signal, you'll have a red arrow above that setup bar but you're only going to take that strategy number four sell signal if the bar below it is colored red by the pet D. That's it, doesn't get any simpler than that, right? Once again, did you hear me speak about anything about interest rates? Did I talk anything about support and resistance or institutions? Did I say anything about some trading guru that always knows what's gonna happen? No, this is all based on market behavior because that's what you're trading. I mean, why would you listen to anything else other than the chart in front of you? Remember, strategy number four is a highly consistent strategy, but sometimes it will fail in terms of being uh, having winning trades one after another. So you need something to filter out the losing setups, and that's where the pet D comes in. All right, so let's look and see how you would apply this process on our platform. Remember, I developed this platform with pro trader strategies to make trading simple. And you're gonna see how simple that process is right here on the PTS Primo charting platform. So let's walk through the process, some older charts, just to show you how easy it would be to trade the dynamic duo. And then we'll go and show you some current examples. Okay, here's an older chart in APA, all right? 
Stocks going down, then up, then kind of down to sideways. All right, how would we have traded this? Well, the first thing you want to do is you learn the rules. We teach you in the course what this pattern is, how to identify it. We require that you paper trade for some time. But after you do that, then it's up to you to start trying to identify strategy number four setups on your own. And the way you check your work is on our platform, you would click on strategy number four, and you'll see these signals automatically appear when you click on signal arrow. And here are the valid strategy number four signals. Remember, we teach you what to look for so that ultimately you don't have to rely on this. I don't even use this myself because I can just look at a chart and I know where strategy number four buy and sell signals are. And I wanna get all of my students to that level so that you can just simply look at a chart and know where a setup is. But while you're learning, you see to yourself, okay, well, there, here's a nice sell signal. This one worked pretty well, but this one didn't work at all. You would have sold and went straight up. Now this buy signal worked out really nicely, but these buy signals have failed to really have a nice move and they're kind of going lower to sideways. So how could the second portion of the dynamic duo helped us? Well, on our platform, click on pet D and now you will see the colors of the uh, bars automatically change to either red or green. Remember, in order to take a sell signal using the dynamic duo, the bar below the red arrow needs to be colored red. So this was confirmed. It's colored red. So we could have taken this signal and ultimately made a potentially up to five points. All right. Nice little trade there. Okay. Now we have another sell signal, but what is the color of the bar below it? The pet D is colored in green, even though it's a down bar, it's colored in green. So the pet D is telling us that the market wants to go higher. I probably wouldn't take this trade. So you wouldn't have taken it and therefore would not have had a loss. You see how it filtered out that bad trade? Now, we have a buy signal right here. In order to take the dynamic duo buy signal, the bar above the green arrow needs to be colored or outlined green. So it, as you can see, it's outlined green. And look what happened three days later, gapped up. Okay, obviously some news or some event happened. Did we know about it? Absolutely not. The market told us it wanted to go higher. And potentially you could have made upwards of eight points. So now you've got two winning trades. You've canceled out a losing one here, but we're stuck now with a cluster of number of buy signals, but look what they are colored. All of them have been outlined or colored red. According to the dynamic dual rules, we wouldn't take any of these. In order to take a buy signal, they need to be colored green. So we would totally have avoided all of these. And aren't you happy you did? Because some of the best trades are the ones you never take. That's the beauty of having a filter like the pet D. Now, it doesn't work 100% of the time. I'm not going to sit here and tell you that every trade that is a loser will be filtered out. So you'll never lose again. That would be doing you a disservice because there's no such thing as that. We're just trying to uh, up your odds for consistency. That's all we're trying to do. And once you trade with a dynamic duo, you'll see how consistent you can become. But that's it. That's the process. You don't have to try and figure out where the support and resistance is. You don't have to figure out that class you took, where the institutions are buying or selling. You don't have to look at a ton of indicators or a ton of fundamental news. In fact, no fundamental news. None of this is based on any economic news. I stopped looking at that 44 years ago. So if I'm still here, I'm living proof that you don't really need it. It's up to you. You can still look at that if you'd like, but it's not required at all. All right, so let's look at some recent dynamic duo signals, just to show you how this works in real time, how this has worked within the last month or so. All right, here's an example in KDMN. This was just a couple of weeks ago coming into September. Once again, no one would have any interest trading in this. Why? Because it's a sideways market. Absolutely nothing is happening. But if we apply the first part of the method of the dynamic duo strategy number four, we would click that on in the drop down menu, click on signal arrow, and there's a buy signal right there. Well, wow. you say to yourself, well, you know what? It is a rather inexpensive stock, but uh, gosh, I'm not really sure I should get involved in this. I'm not really sure. I don't really have that much confidence. My trading has been going very well. How can I get that confidence? By applying the second portion of the dynamic duo. That's the pet D. Let's see if it's confirmed. We click on the pet D on our platform. And not only is the bar above the arrow outlined green, but all the bars are green. So even though we've been going sideways, the market is telling us it wants to go higher. It just hasn't gone higher yet, all right? So you say to yourself, okay, I'm gonna jump in, I'm gonna buy. 
and you buy, and for the next four days, absolutely nothing happens. In fact, you're losing a little bit of money. You say to yourself, wow, you know, this, this doesn't seem to be working well. And so on the seventh, after four days, you say to yourself, should I get out? You know, nothing's really happening here. I'm kind of tying up my money. I thought it was based on momentum. I thought th something was going to take off right away. So this was on the night of the seventh, four days after you purchased it. But look what happened the next day on the eighth. Sanify, uh, Yahoo Finance reported, Sanify to acquire Cadman to strengthen uh, growth of transplant business. In other words, it entered into a definitive merger agreement with Cadman Holdings, uh, that's symbol KDMN, a bi biopharmaceutical company that discovers, develops, and markets transformative ther therapies for disease areas of significant medical needs. Shareholders of Cadman Common Stock will receive nine and a half dollars per share in cash. So in other words, to translate this into English, they're getting bought out, okay? Now, this is fundamental news. How did we know a stock was getting bought out? We don't follow anything fundamentally. It's not required to go into you know, some type of research project and look and see what's the inner workings of the stocks or if they're buyout candidates. It's not at all. We only listen to one thing, the chart in front of us. But guess what? A full week in advance of this buyout news, the chart in front of us told us it wanted to go higher and it was confirmed. Look what happened. The price of the stock rose 80% in one week. Now this was just this past week or so, okay? So this is a, is a current recent example of how well the dynamic duo could have helped you. Here's another example. This one in CDNS, okay? Cadence Design Systems. Once again, kind of looks like it's a, going down then back up, but there's not enough information here, right? Or is there? We're only looking at a total of five bars here, but on strategy number four, we click on in the signal arrows, it's generating a buy signal. And you say to yourself, well, gosh, I would have liked to bought down here, but it closed up here. I don't know. I want some more confidence and some more uh, you know, structure that'll give me the confidence to buy this. Well, add the pet D, the second portion of the, of the dynamic duo. And as you can see, even though the bar prior to it is colored red, the setup bar, the bar above the arrow is outlined green. So this is a valid dynamic duo setup, a high probability setup. You could have purchased this in mid-August, 15 points coming into this past week in September, okay? See how the stock went straight up after that? And if you missed that, look, look what happened the next day. Another buy signal was generated right here. Let's look at MA, okay, MasterCard. Someone looking at this would say, Steve, there's no trend here. We're going up, then back down, then back up again. This is a, kind of a crazy market. I don't want to get involved in this, okay? Well, if we look at this, there's actually three sell signals. Three sell signals were developed right here because they met all the rules. You can't see it, but we're below the 50, and they all closed in the bottom 25%, and all the remaining requirements were met. On top of that, if we apply the PET-D, each and every one of these setup bars is colored red. So this is a high probability sell signal. And look what happened coming into September. It fell 23 points. And we know this is an expensive stock, but don't you think you could have bought puts? Remember, we don't tell you how to enter into the trade. It's entirely up to you. In other words, I can teach you how to play golf, even though I don't play myself. But let's say you wanted to learn and you, you can hire a coach. The coach can teach you how to play golf, but he's not going to play for you. He's not going to tell you what clubs to buy or tell you that you have to use this uh, you know, uh, certain make. It's up to you to decide. The same way with trading. If you want to buy puts or apply some type of spread, or if you'd like to actually short the stock, it's entirely up to you. Here's an example in CRM, Salesforce, okay? This was in uh, mid-August. A buy signal was generated. We apply the PET-D and we see that even though the bars before it were red, it's outlined green. And we have a nice 26-point gain. Now, look what happened right after that. It lost, I would say, at least half of its profit. Well, later on today, I'm going to share with you in our course how you could have exited right here with a 26-point gain profit prior to the stock running out of steam and going lower, okay? <coughs> Excuse me. All right, institutional buying. I know there's a lot of courses that teach you that the institutions, uh, institutions, excuse me, are the best people to follow because these traders have all the money, they're all the big banks, they're never wrong. They, they create the support and the resistance if they're selling. And so why not just mirror what the institutions are doing and you can't go wrong, right? 
I've often said this a number of times, but when I was on the floor making markets, I traded with the institutions. They would come up to my booth where I made markets in about 50, 60 stocks and give me orders to buy or sell certain stocks, such like waste management, IBM, uh, um, Reynolds Metals, uh, Beverly, US Air. And they would give me orders, sometimes a million shares to buy or a million shares to sell. And they would so-called make these support and resistance lines. And out of all the traders I dealt with in my nine years as a specialist, they had the worst track record. Why? Because they were almost always wrong. They'd either cancel their orders or they would buy a little or sell a little and they'd say, that's it, that's enough. And then the stock would fall or go back you know, the opposite direction. So I would never trust an institutional system because they had the worst uh, record of any traders I had ever traded with for nine years. So where most people would say there's institutional buying here, look at this, they've created the support. Why would I wanna go against the institutions? What is the market telling you? Remember, we don't listen to outside sources at specialist trading. We never care about those things. That's what is making you fail. We wanna use things that are cut and dry that are based on market behavior. So what is that? It's strategy number four. Click on strategy four, click on signal arrows. And what do we have? Well, we have a sell signal in the face of that so-called institutional buying. And if we apply the pet D, we see here that all of the bars are red. So where the institutions may be telling you we wanna be a buyer here, the market, which is the only thing we listen to is telling you I wanna go lower. So who do you think is gonna win? Well, I think the market's gonna win, right? 30 points in the next week or so to the downside. This is why we never listen to outside sources. My mentors, they were specialists themselves called that useless noise. I've stopped looking at support and resistance. I've stopped looking at uh, earnings reports or jobless claims. I haven't looked at any of those things in over four decades. How about LLY, Lilly? This is another stock I used to trade on the floor. Here's a buy signal was generated right here. Nice 40 point gain, okay? So let's say you're a student of mine and you say to yourself, well, you know what, Steve, I don't really need the pet D because why would I need to use this? The stock went up 40 points. So, uh, you know, I'll just rely on strategy number four, okay? I, I, you know, and, uh, or my strategy, I really don't need this at all. So these are, you know, uh, uh, very simple to trade. Why would I need to confirm anything? I can figure it out for myself. Well, here's the importance of using the pet D. Because if you wait a little longer, you see that, all right, price started to falter at these levels. And you think, well, the market's strong. We're kind of making this high level consolidation. And what do we have here? We have another buy signal. So you jump on in and say, I missed the first one, but I'm going to make tons of money on this one. And then look what happened. Dropped 25 points. If we had applied the pet D, we would have seen that the bar above the second buy signal was colored red. Therefore, we never would have taken this trade and we wouldn't have lost 25 points. Now you see this one was colored green and that's why it was a valid signal. So that's why it's important to have the pet D as a filter. You can't just rely on one to have these high levels of consistency. Now sure, strategy number four by itself does have a high level of consistency, but you'll even increase your odds for consistency by applying the pet D with it. All right. Here's an example of SAM, Sam, that's the Boston Beer Company, okay? Once again, let's say this is major, major support, okay? All right, you say to yourself, look at Steve, I, I study Fibonacci. That's where all the numbers come together. This is Fibonacci support. I don't wanna sell anything here. This is where we're gonna, probably gonna take off. And on top of that, look at this, we have a bullish engulfing pattern right here. That's a very bullish pattern at major support. So I wanna be a buyer, all right? Does this sound familiar? This is the way most traders make their trading decisions, myself included when I first started trading some four decades ago, okay? But remember, we don't make our trading decisions based off outside noise. We make our trading decisions based off of the market, what it's telling us. And the first thing we listen to is strategy number four. Click it on, on a platform, click on signal arrow, and you'll see that we not only have one, but we have two signals here. So where you think there's major Fibonacci support, the market's telling you it wants to go lower. Now, obviously it's not guaranteed. So we wanna have a little higher level of, of confidence here. Let's apply the PET D, click it on. And we see that both of the bars below the signals are colored red. So this gives us the assurance not to worry about 
so-called Fibonacci support, but just to listen to the market. And is there any doubt that uh, you know, the support really didn't hold up that well? Now, obviously something happened right here where the stock fell hundreds and hundreds of points. This is some announcement, some news. In fact, the sell signal was two days before that drop off in price. I honestly have no idea what the reason was, but I honestly don't care. <laughs> Why would I care what the reason was when I knew in advance that the market was telling me it wanted to go lower. I really don't care what the reason is why someone said, well, why is it going up? Why is it going down? Who cares? The only thing that you should be concerned is, is that you're listening to the market and that you're in sync with it. I don't care if it went down because of some earnings report. I don't care if it went up because of some jobless claim. It makes no difference to me. The point is using things that listen to the market, not always, but most of the time, tell me in advance of any type of fundamental news event. And if you missed that, you had plenty more opportunity to get short all the way down here. Now let's look at some dynamic dual examples applied to other markets and to other time frames. For example, let's look at the QQQs. This was just uh, going the last couple of weeks here. A buy signal was generated on the 20th of August and it was colored green by the pet D. So you could have taken that signal and made a quick 15 points in a couple of weeks in the QQQs or used it as a market directional tool. Now we all know I took the snapshot before the market has fallen out of bed the last week or so. But I'm gonna share with you once again later on how you could have exited upwards at these levels and missed that downward move, okay? Here's another example in currency pairs. Here's an older chart of the dollar yen, okay? Buy signal right here, colored green by the pet D. Look at that nice move. You could have potentially made 95 pips. Two buy signals right here after that, but they're colored red, so you would not have taken them. And then a final sell signal right here, colored red, potentially you could have made 100 pips. So nearly 200 pips using this in a matter of a week or so, that's roughly $2,000 potentially you could have made. Now, some traders say, well, Steve, yeah, that means I would have had to enter and exit it at the very top or cover it at the very low. Okay, so let's say you didn't make 200 pips, let's say you made half of that. Let's say you only made 100 pips. That's still $1,000 per unit, okay? Let's say you only made uh, uh, 50 pips. That's still $500. All right, here's an example in a 15-minute chart of the E-mini futures. Here's a cluster of buy signals, all colored green. And in roughly about five or six hours, you could have potentially made 30 points. That's $1,500 per contract, okay? Once again, if you didn't make 30, let's say you said, well, I only want to make 10 points. Okay, you made 500 bucks using one contract. See, it's up to you to decide when you want to exit a trade, not us. We're telling you the potential you had after a signal was generated. The good news is we have upwards of seven different exit methods in the course for you to choose from. All right, here's an example, an older chart of Bitcoin. This is a two hour chart of Bitcoin when it was going lower last summer, all right? Someone would have said, well, this was major support, Steve. Look, we've come right down to it. You've got to buy this. But once again, clicking on strategy four, a sell signal was generated here and clicking on the pet D, the dynamic duo, it was confirmed. So when uh, Bitcoin was falling out of bed in July and August, you could have potentially made 1500 points to the downside, okay? In a matter of days. So let's recap. The first thing you wanna do is apply strategy number four. That's the first method based on a pattern that repeats itself over and over again in any market. So even though we had the majority of the examples in stocks, you can still use it in currency pairs, Bitcoin, commodities, futures, makes absolutely no difference, okay? Remember, a buy signal will only be generated above the 50 period moving average. A sell signal will only be generated below. And then we want to look for bars that close in the top or bottom 25% of their range. Those are the first two rules of the strategy. And you saw them exemplified in every uh, trade signal. Now, the second portion is the pet D, because we know not every signal is going to be a winner. It's just life. It's just normal. Nothing always works 100% of the time. So we want a way to filter out at least as many bad signals as possible. And by that, we use our translator, the pet D. It's the best tool I know of for determining what the market wants to do on a tick-by-tick -tick basis. Now, when we combine these two, 
Strategy number four, along with the pet D, we have what we call our dynamic duo. One of our most popular courses at Pro Trader Strategies and Specialist Trading. It's traded around the world. Students trade this in Europe, in uh, the uh, Asian markets, in uh, they trade this in Bitcoin. Students trade this uh, all over the world and in every state in the United States. And here's the beauty of all this. We make it simple by applying it on our PTS Primo charting platform. You saw the ease of use and just simply clicking on the tabs to find out when a signal was generated and also to find if it was confirmed by the PET team. So ask yourself, do you think these two methods can really help your trading for the remainder of 2021? There's not a lot of more time left in the year. If you really wanna take your trading to the next level, we have a great attendee discount for all of you uh, coming here today. This is our dynamic duo special. Strategy number four, along with the PET D tool, you're going to get instant course access, detailed instructions. You're going to learn all about the entries, all about the exits, and all about the stops. You're going to get the automatic buy and sell arrows. You'll get the complete course rules. Now, along with that, you'll also get four separate PET D trading techniques. They're not anything like what we just shared with you today. They just rely on the PET D. So this is a great, great way to take your trading to the next level, but we're not gonna stop there. We're also gonna throw in a full year of the PTS Primo charting platform to make trading the dynamic duo very simple for you, okay? Now, this would normally cost you close to $1,800. We're throwing in a full year at the discounted price of absolutely nothing. 12 months free. That's $1,800 automatically waived off the purchase of the course, okay? Now, with the uh, 12 months free of the platform, you're not gonna just get strategy number four and the pet D on the platform. You're also gonna get a host of other tools and indicators and things that I've accumulated in my 40 plus years of trading. Things that you won't find anywhere else because they're taken directly from the floor. Here's just a small short list of the dozens of things that are on the platform that you won't find anywhere else. Things like uh, the strength of trend tool, okay? That can determine whether a trend is running out of steam or not. Okay, other things like uh, the signal scanner and the proprietary exit levels. In fact, these are worth their weight in gold because you can scan for nightly signals in a matter of a minute or two, the S&P 500, and then you can apply the PET D and then you can look and use these exit levels in advance of entering into the trade. Let me show you what I mean here. All right, we talked about this trade in CRM. Here was a buy signal on the 12th generated it's a dynamic duo buy signal. All right, here's a strategy number four, setup bar, it's outlined green. Now here's what you can do in advance of entering into the trade. Once again, on the green strategy tab of the platform, click on strategy number four. Now this time in the drop down menu, click on range extension exits. This is just one of the many different exit techniques we teach you. And what this does, it automatically shows you these high probability range levels. If you're the type of trader that likes to get in and out rather quickly, then you would use the first and second exit levels. If you like to stay on for more bang for your buck, you would use the third and ultimately the fourth. But we always advise our students to exit the position entirely at the fourth and final level. Now, let's say you had chosen the fourth level to exit. So you place a limit and we have the, the price right there. So you know exactly where that is. Look what happened. In a couple of weeks, you would have exited with a 26 point gain and then look what happened after that, okay? And remember we talked about the QQQs? Well, here was a buy signal generated on the 20th, just a few weeks ago. And as you can see, we went right up to that fourth level, and then this has happened in the last couple of weeks, giving back about half. So you would have made roughly about 15 points, and that, that uh, transferred over in about 500 points in the Dow movement, okay? Because it's the ETF that represents the NASDAQ. So this comes with the platform, free of charge. It's included along with a host of other different techniques and ideas and ways to increase your odds for consistency. Okay, so let's break it down. You're gonna get strategy number four, the PET D, along with a full year free of the, the uh, PTS Primo charting platform. If we sold these separately, strategy number four would cost you roughly about $700, okay? The PET D separately would cost you close to 5,000. And as we said earlier, the PTS Primo charting platform would cost you close to 1800. So without this great 
discount today, you'd have to spend for what we're offering close to $7,500. There's no way we're going to charge you that much money because this is a special offer in the dynamic duo. So we're going to slash that. And here's the deep, deep discount we have for you today. Rather than charging you close to $7,500, we're only going to charge you a one-time payment of $497, less than $500. You can have all of these things included and just a small minimum payment of $97 per month. That's it. A monthly payment of $97 per month. It's that simple. Remember, this comes with a full year of the platform included. Now, if you'd like to pay in full, if you say, Steve, you know what? I, don't, I have plenty of cash reserve on hand. I don't need uh, a monthly payment. I'm sold. How much for the entire thing? Well, we'll discount roughly $2,500 off the price and only charge you $49.95 for everything, okay? This is really a great, great offer. Remember, less than $500, a one-time payment, and then a monthly fee of $97 for all of these three included. You're going to get strategy number four, you're going to get the pet D, and you're going to get a full year of the platform, which is already included. So let's just say $97 for the dynamic duo. It's a great, great offer. You don't have to spend $7,500. And if you want to get all this together and you don't worry about paying a monthly fee, it's a one-time pay in full charge of $49.95. Great, great offer, okay? Now, before we close, I just want to remind you, there are less than four months remaining in the year. Less than four months. Most likely, if you're like most traders, you know, I don't take this personally, but the majority of traders are not seeing the type of results they promised themselves at the beginning of the year. And you're probably one of them. That's okay. You owe it to yourself to finish the last part of the year in the right direction. So invest in yourself. I'm sure most of you probably lost over $500 this past month had a tough time when the market fell out of bed and all of a sudden your strategy was telling you to keep buying as the market went lower and lower, right? Well, with the dynamic duo and this great offer, we're only going to charge you a one-time fee of $497 and then just $97 per month. Here's how to take advantage of this, okay? Contact Pro Trader Strategies. They're my sister site. They're in charge of all of the pricing and all of the discounts. Now, they have trading consultants manning the phones right now. They would be more than happy to take your calls concerning pricing. Uh, they can actually take your order over the phone at 310-598-6677. Now, that link you see at the very bottom is the link that will take you to the information and the sign-up page if you'd like to sign up online. It's not a live link, but if you look in the chat box where you're writing your questions, there's a live link that has just been posted there. You can click that on, okay? Now... Thank you for waiting, for holding off on any questions. I promised you I would answer them at the very end. So if you have questions now, simply go to the chat box and I will answer them to the best of my ability. I will leave this information up here and uh, you can copy it down or I would highly suggest giving Pro Trader Strategies a call. Remember, there's absolutely no obligation. They would be more than happy just to uh, answer any questions concerning pricing or answer questions concerning data or concerning uh, tech support. So uh, anything concerning trading, feel free to ask me right now, okay? Let me open up the chat box and see what some people have asked. Uh, so there's no need uh, to bother with the buy sell line whenever using these other strategies. Well, it's not a question of need. Uh, it's really a question of, uh, you know, if you wanna be in sync with the strategy. All of our strategies are based on the buy sell line. Now. We are not a systematic company. That means we're not telling every trader to trade the exact same way. If you're more advanced, and more aggressive, if you have a larger, larger uh, uh, bank account and trading account, and if you'd like to trade very quickly and, and more on a, a short term, then you can apply and only use the PET D. But we always advise our students and suggest strongly to apply the 50 period moving average in the beginning while they're learning. So it's kind of faulty to say that there's no need. There always is a need, especially in the beginning to use that. Um, let's see, other questions here. Uh, how do we know it's institutional buyers when looking at charts like you had showed us earlier? Well, the institutions, what they do many times is they'll place an order in the book, okay? And that's what they'll do. The order will be for a large, large size of let's say, uh, you know, million, five million shares. I've seen, I've had orders of five million in my book when I was trading on the floor 40 years ago. Okay. So what that does is it creates a bottom approach. So anytime price got to that level, 
they would buy and automatically price would bounce off there. So if you're looking at a chart and you see that it comes to a level and every time it hits there, it bounces higher, that most likely is a buy program put on by the institutions. OK, so it's not guaranteed, but that's mostly what it is. There is what we called a buyer there holding up price. Here's the only problem with that. The institutions can leave their order in there for a day, for an hour, even for five minutes and then say, you know what, never mind, we changed our mind. So if you bought based off that, thinking that, well, they're going to hold the price up. Well, now you're left holding the bag. And now that there's no so-called support there anymore of the institutions buying. And maybe they bought 200,000 shares, they're willing to take the loss and the price will go straight down after that, the way you saw in so many of our examples. So I would never base anything based off an institution. I mean, like I said, they have the worst track record of traders I traded with personally. So we don't, we don't really you know, look at that. If you're uh, you know, concerned with that, you know, you're really following the wrong information. Remember, your focus, what we don't want to teach you is to learn how to listen to the market. Once you do that, you never have to be concerned with them. It's really you know, a waste of time, in, in my opinion. And trust me, I know because I did it for 40 years ago. Now, they're not cheating or scamming anyone. That's just the way they trade. They have tra plenty of money to, to do that. They have tons of money. So for them just to, to pull an order is not cheating or scamming. They're just saying, well, we changed our mind. We're going to the next big thing, OK? Uh, good questions, any more? Uh, new message here. Uh, Oh, I was just curious because I brought it up before. Oh, yeah. I know what it looks like because I've been looking at it for 40 years. And look at, go back and do the research yourself. Look at any chart where there was, it would come to a level and make some type of support on the chart. And then all of a sudden it would break down. Well, that's usually the institution saying, well, you know what? Maybe we bought half a million shares. We no longer think this is a good buy. We'll take the loss and sell it ourselves. OK, or if a stock goes up to a certain price, it can't go through anymore. It just can't go through. And then all of a sudden, one day it breaks through the upside. That's most likely a sell order by the institutions and they've pulled their sell order. OK. Uh, any more questions? Someone is asking me about tech support. Yeah, those are questions to be asked pro trader strategies. Remember, they're in charge of all the tech support. They have their own tech support department. If you're concerned about applying this with other platforms, sure, you can apply to other platforms, but you won't get all the things available that we're giving you for free for a full year. That's like the scanning process. That's like the different tools that you only find on the platform. And, and so it's it, sure you can, I believe you can uh, also, let's say, use it on the major platforms like Metastock, uh, Ninja Trader with Thinkorswim, uh, uh, TradeStation, uh, Sierra Charts, MT4, but you won't get the scanning ability and all the other abilities that we have on the platform. There are just dozens of things that I don't have time to go into that are on the platform that you won't get anywhere else. Remember, the full price is less than $500, a one-time charge of $497 and just $97 per month, okay? It's really a great, great offer. We're trying to show you in good faith that we're not going to charge you, you know, an arm and a leg. The only way to, to trade with a pet D is to trade is to spend $10,000. We don't believe in that. We really want you to become consistent traders. There's more than enough for everyone to go around. So that's why we want to keep our prices as low as possible while we can. OK, so do yourself a favor. Call uh, this number, 310 598-6677. There are trading consultants manning the phone. They would be more than happy to answer any questions. There's absolutely no obligation. So don't feel uncomfortable that if you call, they're going to sell you something. They're going to answer any question. You can still wait and watch. We want you to watch the video. If you're still on the sideline, watch the video. Decide for yourself if, if it would really help. And if you're really certain that you want to take advantage of this, Come on board, but don't wait too long because in another week from now, this is a limited time offer. Most likely the price will be at back up to $7,500 and we don't want to charge you that much. So take advantage of this great, great offer, okay? Now, as we close, I want to thank you all for taking time out of your Wednesday. I know you had a lot of things to look at, but you came here to this presentation. So thank you so much. And as you take one last look at our disclaimer, thanks for attending. But most importantly, I look forward to all of you becoming students of mine in the Dynamic Duo course. Have a great rest of the week and hope to see you in class. Bye-bye.